so we're going to go ahead and get started. And uh, again, welcome Amy, Kat, and Jasmine um, to our Breathe Salon today. We appreciate your time and your openness of, of being with us today. I'm going to start us off um, with our collective intentions. The purpose of today is to bring um, everyone together um, and allow for space to initiate um, different types of healing and to reflect on the year we have had um, and are having, because um, we are uh, we still are in have a few months to go, and just to offer up um, special parts of us in 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 aid of not only ourselves, but each other. And uh, we have Dr. Glaude, um, we have Ms. Allison Smith, we have Ms. Aaliyah Foley, and we have Dr. Samuel Odom. And uh, we have a special treat um, also with us um, that I'll talk a little bit about um, later. And special thanks to Ms. Carrie Mulder, um, who um, is continuously assisting us with um, holding this space and the technological means that are necessary. So give thanks to the people that are here, the people that are trying to get here and the people um, that wish they could be here and the people that forgot, everybody. <laughs> give thanks for everybody. And um, I would like to give a special thanks um, to our ancestors, right? Um, to those who um, have become our ancestors, especially during um, this year, um, especially due to COVID and our ancestors um, that um, have passed on um, years before this one. I would like to allow space for us to call them and acknowledge them and say their names into the space. These ancestors can be a part of our blood, kin, neighborhood, um, our societies, our communities, our global communities, just anyone you want to bring into the space and call their name. Let them know that there isn't a day that goes by that we don't think of them and that we honor them and love them. And we want to include them in the space. Um, I would like for us to collectively pour libation together um, in using water um, to add to um, this living thing, which is a, a little bouquet of, of flowers just nurturing um, water, adding to dirt um, and growing those roots and helping us to blossom. Um, our blossoming and our growth is a, is a reciprocal um, and a cyclical um, action. And so as we um, give thanks for our ancestors, you know, for pouring into us, um, we want to pour back into them and gratitude and saying their name. And also um, in this setting, we are also water, um, these panelists and pouring into you all. And I want you all who are participants to pour into yourself and pour back into the participants who are who, the panelists who are giving in a cyclical fashion with your energy and your presence. Um, and let's get started. So. I want to uh, bring in this tradition, um, this beautifully um, crafted, holy African um, tradition of, of libation. And I want us to unmute ourselves and call out their names, bring them in. And after each name, we'll say Ashe, which is also correlated with amen. And it means, and so it is. And I will begin pouring now. And you all can unmute yourselves and just call them in. We love you, we thank you, we honor you. And we wanna say your name today.
Ashe. Mary Lee Ivy. Ashe. Ashe. Ronald Dubrell. Ashe. Uh, Ashe. George Floyd, Brianna Taylor. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Ashe. McCoy Tyner, Bill Withers. Ashe, De Ashe. Dean, Millie M. Charles. Ashe. Ashe. Roy Anthony Hargrove. Ashe. Cat put in the chat, Catherine Chambers. Ashe. 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 Fanny Lou Hamer. Ashe. Ida B. Wells. Ashe. Dr. Maya Angelo. Ashe. Kwame Toure. Ashe. Ashe. James Arthur Baldwin. Ashe. Ashe. Bayard Rushton. Ashe. Mm -hmm. Bader Ginsburg. Ashe. Trayvon and all the other little boys that have been unnamed but not forgotten. Ashe. Ashe. To all our Black trans brothers and sisters and family. Some whose names we know, some who have been misgendered, some that whose names we do not know. Ashe. Ashe. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. We thank you. We honor you for all that you are and you continue to be in our lives and in the lives of your family. We now open up our time together to the Breeze Salon. And we're gonna start with Miss Aaliyah and she is gonna bring forth her voice um, and sing one of her number one hits and share with us. So feel free, again, thank you for being here and feel free to comment lightly in the chat and um, enjoy. Take it away, Aaliyah. Thank you, Dr. Sun, um, for leading us in libation and also um, for being a co-creator and curator in this space along with the rest of the panelists um, to to bring this offering. Um, my offering is my voice. Um, I wrote this song um, in a place of brokenness over the course of the semester after the murder of George Floyd um, and just the heaviness of the context of our world um, of the context and situation in my life, professionally, academically, all in all these various spaces and all these various identities that I have. And this place was written, this piece was written out of that space um, and it was shared. And this moment in time for healing um, was seen as like a necessary thing for our community. And so I'm just grateful um, that I have it to offer. So this song is called Breathe. 
Here we go. Thank you, Aaliyah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are moving through to the next piece um, and grateful for that beautiful opening um, and of that song, Breathe, and moving into poetry by Dr. Odom. Thank you, Dr. Sun, and more important, thank you, Aaliyah, for that uh, wonderful, profound offering. This piece that I'm going to share with you all today in the form of an offering has to do greatly with the idea of birth, death, and rebirth, and specifically as we think about cultural humility and what the past has taught us about the present as we look forward to the future. Uh, I'm going to share with you something that is near and dear to my heart, a piece of music uh, termed poetry. Music. Music means so much to so many people and because music is a universal language, it is therapeutic, inspirational, healing, reflective, and historical. Music is a part of every facet of life. And today I share something musically existential from seven now legendary musicians in the prime of their careers at the time of this specific release. 
tenor saxophonist John Coltrane, alto saxophonist Julian Cannonball Adderling, pianist Bill Evans and Wynton Kelly, bassist Paul Chambers, drummer Jimmy Cobb, and of course, trumpeter Miles Davis. Their contributions remain a force, a gift and an inspiration for humanity. Uh, this, however, is dedicated to the memory of Bill Withers, whom we lost earlier this year. His music personifies the essence of humanity. Through his clear, unadorned vocals, Withers immediately sets the scene as he rides on the Super Chief, a train famed for transporting celebrities from Chicago to Los Angeles from 1936 to 1971. Soul Shadows itself is a tribute to legends Fats Waller, Jelly Roll Martin, and Louis Armstrong, aka Pops. I would certainly be remiss if I did not dedicate this to Millie M. Charles, Dean Emerita, Southern University at New Orleans, Millie M. Charles School of Social Work, who led a quiet revolution in social justice. She left us Friday, November 20th, 2020. The hardest thing in the social work profession is to be simple and yet profound she mastered that. I digress. Here is So Shadows. <clears throat> San Francisco morning coming clear and cold. Don't know if I'm waking or I'm dreaming. Riding with Fats Waller on that super chief. He said, music's real, the rest is seeming. Oh, he played a feeling that won't go away. There's a sound of his soul in the air. I can hear it out there and I know he left those so shadows on my mind, on my mind, on my mind, he left a soul shadow on my mind, on my mind, on my mind. Can you hear? Can you hear? Can you hear? Standing by the window as the fog rolls in, I swear I can hear a far off music. Jelly Roll is playing down in Storyville while Satchmo is wailing somewhere in Chicago. Coltrane's reaching for the notes no one can hear. <laughs> They're made a part of all that I know. Oh, okay. a feeling that won't go away. There's a sound of their soul in the air. And I can hear it off the And I know. Can you hear? Can you hear? Can you hear? They left those soul shadows on my mind. On my mind. On my mind. They left. A soul shadow on my mind, on my mind, on my mind. Can you hear? Can you hear? I said, can you hear? Standing by the window as the fog rolls in. Again, I swear I can hear a fall off music. Jelly Roll is playing down in Storyville while Satchmo is wailing somewhere in Chicago. Miles creates the notes his eyes can see. You ought to heard them play. Feelings that won't go away. There's a sound of their soul in the air. I hear it out there and I know 
Yeah. Yeah. Them soul shadows. All on my mind. On my mind. All on my mind. They left them soul shadows. On my mind. On my mind. On my mind. All on my mind. Can you hear? I say, can you hear? Can you hear? They left them so shadows on my mind. Left them so shadows on my mind. We all, we all, I say, we all, we all. We all need to fall in love with the generation that will never know, and we will never know them. We all need to fall in love with the generation that we will never know and will never know us. Can you hear those so that? Thank you, Dr. Odom. We really appreciate your poem. And um, during the libation, bringing Mama Millie Charles into this space and your kind and powerful words about her. Um, and we continue to breathe on to the next person, Miss Allison Smith, who is furthering the offering of, of ourselves in music, in poetry, in um, presence. So Allison, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, Dr. Sun. Thank you, Aaliyah. I love this. This is so cool. What a, what a gift this is. So I'm Allison, far from New Orleans uh, in distance, but never that far in spirit. Um, <laughs> I was thinking this morning about the power of, um, of music to heal ourselves and to share it with each other. And what led me to write this song earlier this year. Um, <laughs> Other creative people I talked to described um, these open, unscheduled, unlimited days that the beginning of lockdown offered us as the stuff that artists pray for. And yet I found myself at the beginning of this quarantine time feeling so unmotivated and uninspired, like an empty gas tank. And that only intensified with every accumulating headline um, in the news. And finally, I began to conceptualize my mental state as not just a, a state of being, but actually give it some geographical topography that I could recognize. And when I started to compare my inner emotional landscape to the landscape of the desert not far from where I live in Southern California, the words started to flow. So this is called Saturn Return and it is a lullaby for mental health. Picked the roadkill 
queen past the burning creosote sunset long ago behind the tallest palm you never see there's watercolor mountains and powder pastel skies that don't have dust and terracotta glades a creation is to oasis for some desert dinosaurs and that rattling's just an echo in the cave the bob cattle mass of water might not be dead in marble. So if you got a question, ask it in vain. Don't drink the milk inside, lest you want to lose your sight. And the rat from the bar will drop a man in the sink. So drink another pony and wait for Saturn to return. You'll learn, ooh, you'll learn. Like to make my own geodesic dome with windows cut for each phase of the moon. Keep my eyes on the night for lightning satellites and listen for the ghost of Mojave's too. It's a Death Valley ghost town built for tumbleweed and tan, a hostile earth where nothing good can stay. There's always something bigger waiting just around the bend. The predator makes quick work of his prey. The bobcat makes a quarrel, might not be there tomorrow. So if you got a question, ask it plain. Don't drink the milk inside unless you want to lose your sight. And the bathroom from the bar drop a man in the sink. So Thank you, Allison, for that beautiful gift. Wow. We, this is a, an amazing experience. And um, breathing in, breathing out, on to our next offering by Dr. Glaude, who is going to grace us with poetry and moving photography from the heart and from the spirit. Thank you, Dr. Sun. And so when asked why this piece, I have to be honest and say that photography is my go-to place. And during this pandemic, many of us were unable to be with people that we love um, due to restrictions and due to us being mindful and keeping one another safe. And so some of this photography is photography that I shared with loved ones. Um, where my family would get me out of the house just to keep me sane during these very difficult times. And then some of these pieces are pieces that truly bring me joy. Um, you'll see some photos with my grandmother. And so whereas Dr. Sun called me Dr. Glaude, that is my identity at Tulane University. But for today, my identity is granddaughter. This is a mixed methods, photography and spoken word. She is my grandmother and I am her granddaughter. Oh say can you lift every voice and sing. I am my grandmother's granddaughter and I am my village's chosen one. Today y'all I bring you love and greetings from the hood because it's just me living on grace and mercy 
because you see once upon a time in this time we once called and we once knew as New Orleans in a land of great oaks good music ba -da -ba -ba -ba, and good cuisine as we reflect, it is in love, honor, and respect to all the ancestors, and especially to Aunt Carrie Matwire and Aunt Genevieve Rachel, who lost everything in 2005. It is because of them that I am alive and because of the path that they prepared for me that I now join you. From the St. Claude and that Tupelo, y'all. So today I remember you, aunties. And I remember to pay you homage as we maneuver this maze we call life. I remember your resilience. Resilient and strong, that's who she is. Because it was early one Sunday morning. Oh, look, today she knowed me, y'all. She knew it was me. She is my grandmother and I am her granddaughter. Como se va, she says, ça va bien aussi? Come see, come stop. She was never really happy, never too much joy, but she knew my face and today we shared a laugh. She was always quiet at the table until he poured her that coffee at the kitchen ta table. That was where he made the perfect cup. Paul Paul made the drip happen. Yes, that's always a little sugar milk with a little coffee, that sweet chicory that chicory that makes us rise in the morning. Still I rise, bringing the gifts and the talents that my ancestors gave me. I am their dream, I am their hope that rises each morning. Rise up people, rise up and get out to vote because black lives matter, black lives matter. The little boys and the little girls matter. And yes, the children are watching. They are always watching and looking and listening. They are the children of our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside because it is by our actions that we will be judged. Our actions will determine the fate of our community. So lean on your neighbor, lean, lean, lean. And when you need to lean a bit lower, swing low, sweet chariot. When you need to wade in the water, wade, wade, wade. For sometimes being your authentic self in an arena that was not meant for you is your brave act of courage and activism and truth. And remember, you are smart, you are kind, you are resilient. So remember to breathe, breathe, breathe in healing, breathe in joy, breathe in hope and let that go, let that go, go. Don't. Don't. It's a new day, y'all. And don't forget, my granny said, mask up. Ashe, Ashe. Granny told y'all, mask up now. Don't be going to Walmarts and uh, Rouse's <laughs> without your mask. She told y'all to mask up. <laughs> blessings, blessings. Thank you, Dr. Glaude, for sharing with us um, the visual and verbal um, explanation of, of love and grace and beauty and um, just the utmost appreciation uh, for you. All right, breathing in, breathing out to our next person. Um, this person is absent from the panel, but present in offering. Um, Miss Julie um, Kalura, 
has prepared a video to lead us into some artistic expression. So um, those of us um, who are here, let's grab some paper um, and something to create with. It can be an eyeliner pencil, um, regular pencil, pen, um, pastels, oils if you fancy, um, things you would like to create with. So we'll grab those materials as the video offering begins to, to load. Hi, my name is Julie. I am the social services director for the Louisiana Victim Outreach Program. I am also a practitioner of the expressive arts. And today I'm going to lead you through a brief process so that you can experience some of the healing and relaxation qualities of engaging in the expressive arts. You really don't need any artistic skill or experience and you don't need any fancy materials. You just need some blank paper and something to draw with. I'm going to be using this mixed media paper, but you can really use any kind of blank white paper that you have around. And then I'm going to be using these oil pastels. But again, you can use whatever you have nearby, crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have. If you do want to gather some materials for, for, for the future, um, both the the mixed media paper and the oil pastels are available at pretty much any art supply store. But for now, just gather what you have. And once you have your supplies gathered, I invite you to sit comfortably with your feet on the floor so that you can feel your connection with the earth. Consciously invite the energy of the earth to support you, to help you feel grounded. Whatever you were doing for, whatever you might have coming up after, just try to make some space for yourself here and now in this moment. If it feels comfortable for you, you can close your eyes or just soften your gaze. Pay attention to the inhale and the exhale of your breath. allowing your breath to become a little deeper, a little slower. Open yourself to your own creativity, knowing that your creativity is always present for you. Your creativity is a source of deep inner wisdom that you can trust. You may want to imagine your creativity as a light, or a color that flows through you, moving into all the areas of your body, your mind that need it most. Take a moment now to just attune to your inner experience. Be aware of your body, of any sensations that are coming up for you. Be aware of your feelings just noticing. Be aware of your thoughts, allowing your thoughts to flow without attaching yourself to any of them. Continue to breathe, make some space so that you can discover what's present for you right now. Notice if there are any colors or shapes, images that come to your mind's eye. Just notice without judgment. Again, feeling your feet connected with the earth, feeling yourself grounded in this moment. 
feeling yourself supported by your creative flow. Noticing the cycle of your breath, inhale and outhale, exhale. And slowly and gently bring your attention back to your space, to the art materials that you have gathered. And then allow your, your hands to choose something to begin with. All you need to do is make the first mark and then discover what wants to come next. Follow your own creative flow until you feel complete. I'm going to tilt my camera down so hopefully you can see my paper. And I'm just going to make a mark on my page. And then just continue to make some marks. sometimes be helpful to play some soft music while you're making your image. thing about these oil pastels is that you can blend them with your finger or with a piece of paper. Also use the white if you want to blend. You can just keep making marks on your page until you feel like your image is complete. You can take as much time as you want as you need. Here's my image. It's just a quick, quick image that I created. When you complete your image, I invite you to spend a few minutes writing in response. You may want to begin your writing with the phrase, I am, or I know, and then just spend a few minutes free writing in response to your image. You could also respond to your image with movement or with sound. So I may, I may just spend a, a couple seconds gazing at my image and I might focus on one part of it or the whole, the whole image. And then I might find a movement or, or a gesture that sort of comes out of my image. Really whatever, however you want to respond to your image, it's, it's totally up to you. You can, you can write, you can move, you can make sounds, you can, if you have musical instruments, you could, you could make some, some music in response to your image. There's really, 
no end to what, what you can do um, with the expressive arts. Keep in mind when um, engaging in the expressive arts, the, the focus is not the, the, final the final product or, or the, the visual art, whatever, whatever the product is, but rather the focus is on the process of engaging in creativity. Um, so it's really, it's really not about what you create, it's the process of creating. If you have any questions about the expressive arts or if you're interested in engaging more fully, maybe in an individual or, or a group setting, please reach out. I would love to help you discover your creativity. Thanks so much. I'm so, so grateful for Julie and just her pre-preparing something in a space for us. Um, give yourself a few moments to finish up what you were creating, to finish up responding um, to whatever you created on your paper. If you need to move a little bit, if you need to write some more, I've been writing. Whatever you need to do, take the next couple of minutes to do that. And as we transition um, into our final moments in this space with one another, um, I'm so excited to come before and share gratitude for this woman um, that has supported me and championed me and, and really helped me um, this semester tremendously. Dr. Sun, you've heard her voice in between all of the healing that's been happening and taking place. And I'm so excited for her to share her gifts and her offerings with us. She is going to be giving us a piece, um, a dramatization, and then we're gonna flow into the next body movement offering portion. Um, and so without further ado, Dr. Sun, Thank you so much. It's you. Thank you, thank you, Aaliyah. And in echoing um, the heavy vibration of events this year, and especially um, for the past four to 500 years, um, many in my short time physically on this rim, um, I have witnessed um, a lot being Black, being Southern, being queer, being woman. Um, and day to day, minute to minute, month to month, hour to hour, attacks intended attacks on my identities, intended attacks. And through all of the overcoming and the resisting and the resilience, at the end of the day and at the beginning of the day, I love being back, black, back and black. <laughs> I still love being black. There is no thing, no power, no policy, or no one that could ever take away that gift that keeps on giving. So what I would like to do is share one of my favorite poems by Mr. Bernard um, Dabadi. 
And it's called, I thank you, God, for creating me black. I thank you, God, for creating me black, for making of me the porter of all sorrows. Setting on my head the world, I wear the center's high, and I've carried the world since the first morning. White is the color for special occasions. Black is the color for every day, and I have carried the world since the first morning. I am glad for the shape of my head made to carry the world. Content with the shape of my nose so that I must inhale every wind of the world. I'm pleased with the shape of my legs, ready to run every corner, every heat of the world. I thank you, God, for creating me black, for making of me the porter of all sorrows. 36 swords have pierced my heart. 36 fires have burned my body and blood and my blood has been shed on all calvaries. My blood has reddened the snow and my blood at every dawn has reddened all nature. 36 swords, 36 fires, 36 swords and 36 fires. And still, I am glad to carry the world, glad of my short arms, my long arms, and the thickness of my lips. I thank you, God. I thank you, God, for creating me black, for making of me the sum of all sorrows because white is the color of special occasions and black is the color for error day. And I have carried the world since the dawn of time. And I have carried the world since the dawn of time. And my laughter, let me tell you about my laughter. My laughter, <laughs> my laughter. <laughs> My laughter, y'all, my laughter all over the world creates the night and the day. And I thank you, God. I thank you, God. I thank you, God, for creating me black. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sun, so much, so much. Thank you so much. Yes, everything that's going up in the chat. Yes, okay, thank you. So this is a collective offering um, of body movement that is our next section. Everybody in attendance, please feel free to be in your space and move with the rhythms that you hear and what you feel. All right, good. Go ahead. As we move into this movement, I invite, and especially on the wings of love being black, for the 992,000, I invite everybody to get up. Stand where you are. If you want to stay in the chair, if you want to stand up. And my lovely panelists and contributors to this work, I invite you to stand up where you are. And let's continue on this genuflection of, of loving who we are despite the attempted attacks, loving who we are, loving who we're made of, and loving who we are moving to be. So I invite everyone to rise as they are, and let's move. 
Um, if you are old school dancer, old school it out. If you are ballroom, ball yourself. If you a if you a rerun type, you know, um, break dance, break that dance, but don't break anything. You know, just move. If you are dramatic, dramatize that thing out. If you are praise dance, praise it out. So just move as uh, the music calls you to move, and just let's just collectively feel our bodies. We are here. Feel the power of our bodies, no matter what shape, form, or fashion. Feel the power and the purpose in our steps, the purpose in our movement. I said I love being black. I said I love being black. I said I love being black. I said I love, love the color of my skin. The skin that I'm in. I love the texture of my hair. And I will rock it everywhere. I said I love me black. I said I love me black. I said I love Give yourselves a, a round of applause. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. I know some of us been moving around a lot and we may need a lot of breathing ins and outs, but we're gonna take the breathing in fully and breathing out as we close this evening with the word from um, Aaliyah to 
lead us on our way and charge us uh, with strength and, and even more purpose. So we open up with gratitude. Um, and so closing in the same fashion, I'm so, so grateful for this opportunity um, to just share space with everyone and to be collaborators in this space and to bring ourselves, um, our vulnerabilities, our, our things that we needed to heal from, from this semester, um, from this year of just ups and downs and grief and loss and more loss and more grief. Um, and just all this transition and really uncertainty and trying to figure it out and, and the weight of all of that um, and not having a whole bunch of space all the time to just breathe and to release the things that we need to release um, to, and to get the things off of our hearts and our minds that we need to get off. So I'm just grateful that you took this opportunity and chose this space today um, because you didn't have to be here, right? You could have not made it. And so I'm just so grateful for every single panelist that offered something to this space that gave of themselves. Thank y'all so much, Allison, Dr. Odom, Dr. Glaude, Julie, Dr. Sun. Miss Carrie, um, for giving of your time and orchestrating the Zoom, um, because I don't know anything about Zoom. <laughs> um, so I'm just I'm just grateful for all the hands and feet that really made this possible. Um, again, thank you, attendees, for coming and just sharing space with us and choosing to um, to take this time to do some self care um, and to do some healing. And as we leave from this place. I just hope that we we left our burdens here and we're taking up the the lightness um, and the the collective relief and and collective healing that has taken place in this space and we're bringing that into the close of the semester the close of this year and while we're transitioning into the new year in January that we're bringing this lightness and we're and we're remembering what we've shared here what we've laid down here and we're letting it stay here um, and just moving forward. So again, thank y'all so much. My heart is so full. It's been a long week, you know, the anxiety been high with the finals and the papers and I just feel like, <sighs> so thank y'all for being here. Thank you so, 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 so much. I'm gonna stop chatting because I can chat for a while if you let me. But I really love each of y'all. I'm so grateful for each of y'all's life, for the purpose that y'all have, and for just the mountains that you're going to move. Um, and I'm just excited for what's to come, right? It got to be better than what's been. So okay. thank you. Thank you.